so today we've got a 17 pound choice uh, brisket bought this at Costco I'm gonna show you how I do brisket I'm gonna trim it season it and then we'll get it out on the smoker so that's what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna trim our brisket up what we want to do is we want to get rid of all the hard fat that's on the brisket this big piece right here we want to trim that off because it won't render down so I like to just get in here it's easier to trim if the brisket's a little bit cold it's easier to trim it off and I like to kind of get down in here a bit and get as much of this hard fat off of here as I can so like I say it won't render down I'm going to flip it over on this side you can see here it's got about an inch of fat we want to trim that down to where about a half inch to a quarter inch left on there is all because all that won't render down you want just enough left on there to a little deep there it's hard to see just take a little at a time then it's easier to to do it here actually looks pretty good it's about the right thickness probably need to take a bit off of this this is a, this is a big thick piece of fat here skin off of it some of these pieces of fat you can spend all day on this if you want to but I usually just get the big pieces and call it good doesn't make a ton of difference on it hanging off you just cut those off they'll just burn ok 
Okay, then the other thing that I like to do, once this is cooked, it is almost impossible to see which side the grain's running. And then it's not the same way every time, because these come off the left side or the right side. So you can see in this one the grain, uh, the meat's running this way. And we want to cut against that, so I just cut the corner off like this. about like that. Then I know when it's done which way the grain is and I know where to come in and do my slices. Okay, so the seasoning that we're going to use today, the rub, I've got this garlic pepper that I bought. It's a McCormick California style and it says it's got garlic, salt, red pepper, a little bit of brown sugar in it. So we're going to use that, and then I'm also going to top it with this Hardcore Carnivore. I've used this before if you've seen my Tri-Tip video. It just gives it a really good bark and a really good color when it's done. So that's what we're going to use to season it is both of these. I've also put a little bit of celery seed in here. I've heard that that helps make the smoke ring a little more pronounced. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. I've never done that before. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to season this up. First, we're going to use our garlic pepper. So, I think what I'll do is season this back side first. Um, so, I just kind of hold it up high, put a real good coating of it on there because it, uh, it really probably won't even go through this back cap, but it'll give it a good color as much as anything. So we'll put that on there like so. Thought I ought to do it. And to just pat it in so the moisture of the meat will come out, adhere to it. And then put a little bit of this, the hardcore carnivore on there. If you haven't tried this, I would suggest it. Because it really, really adds a good color to the bark on it when it's done. You'll see when it's finished what it does. It's actually all as it is if you read the label as it's got salt and it's got uh, activated charcoal, food grade charcoal in it. And that charcoal just gives it an awesome, awesome color. I don't know that it adds much as far as flavor goes as far as I can tell. But it does give it a really good color. get a good coating of this on this side, get the flat, get the point, get the sides here. I'm still low on my hand. Stick it on there. On the sides of it. And that ought to be about good there. There again we'll just I don't really rub it. That just balls it all up, but just kind of pat it, and that makes it so that the moisture kind of comes out of the meat, it helps it to stick. There again, I'll put a good coating of this hardcore carnivore on here. Like I say, I just the color of it's amazing with this. sides here. Easiest way to do it when this big of a brisket. This thing's 17 pounds. So it's not like So what I'll do when I'm done here is I'll put this, I'm going to cover it, put it in the fridge, and let it sit probably for six or eight hours. And then I'll put it on the smoker and get this rub some time to settle into the meat. That's all there is to it. And then uh, we'll see you back when we're ready to put it on the smoker. Okay, so here we are out of the grill. Uh, we got the brisket all seasoned up. It's set about eight hours in the fridge with the rub on it. So we're gonna get it on the smoker now. 
going to set the smoker at 250. It'll probably take about 10 12 hours. So I've got in here, you can see I've got my water pan, both my probes, so I can get the temperature right on the grill. And uh, we're going to get this thing on here and uh, get it cooking. So, what you want to do when you put it on the smoker is we want to point on this end, we want the flat, sorry, we want the flat on this end early in the morning, flat on this end and the point on this end. And then we're going to insert our probe just so we can monitor the temperature of it. Uh, once it hits the stall, we'll come back. We're up to some butcher paper. Um, one thing I like to do sometimes is you'll get a brisket that the, 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 it'll pull up because it'll sink down in here. This one doesn't look like it needs it, but sometimes I'll put something underneath there just to prop it up a little bit so that the moisture runs off of it. But this one doesn't look like it's got much of an end in there, so I think we'll be okay without putting anything underneath it. Okay, so this uh, brisket's been on the smoker since uh, 8 o'clock this morning. It's now at 170 degrees, so it's time to get it off here and wrap it. I actually have not opened this up yet to see what it looks like, so you're going to have the first look with me. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so I'm bring you in here and let you take a look at this and see what it looks like. Got a really nice bark on it. Juice is coming out of it. Looks like the fat's starting to break down. But we're gonna wrap it up now and uh, let it finish breaking that fat down. Pull it off, bring it over here. Or put your paper over here. I just bought this butcher paper off Amazon. You can buy it on there. I like the butcher paper a little better than the foil it seems to help it to It helps, seems to help keep the bark a little better for me. Some people say it doesn't matter, some people say it does. It's a nice tree. That's what I found. It's really no specific way to wrap it. And I found I'm going to do it as tight as possible. So, I'm going to get wrapped up as tight as possible. These are all tucked under. Like so. I'll be back on the smoker with it. Probe back in here. Take this part of the flat. Close it up and let it go until it gets to right around about 200 degrees. Once it gets there, um, then we'll pull it off, let it rest, and slice it up. Okay, so the brisket's done. It's at 200 degrees, so we're going to pull it off, take it inside, let it rest for about an hour, and then we'll slice it up and eat it. Take a look. The probe slides in and out just like butter. That's how we can tell it's done. Usually somewhere between 200 and 210. It feels really good right there. The meat moves easy. That jelly. So I think we're good. We're going to let it rest and then we'll show you the slice of butter. It's been resting for about an hour. And we're going to cut it up.
hardcore carnivore. Makes it look good and dark. So I'm just going to slice a few pieces off here.